we uh, have just heard that the number of cases of Ebola have doubled in the last three weeks. So uh, we are, we are very f concerned first and foremost with the response. But we did take a step back and ask the question, uh, what's going on in terms of the overall economic impact? So it, just in terms of this year, between now and the end of 2014, uh, the overall impact in uh, loss of GDP will be around $360 million. And uh, the impact on government's budgets uh, reaches almost that number as well, close to $300 million. But then what we did was we went back and looked at previous epidemics, and we looked at specifically at the star SARS epidemic. Now, if you look at that particular case, there were about 800 deaths from SARS, but uh, the uh, impact economically was in the many tens of billions of dollars. And so uh, we asked a question, where did that impact come from? It wasn't just in the loss of lives. And what we, what we understood was that there's a kind of, uh, of aversion behavior. Uh, uh, people who don't go to work, um, flights that don't go, um, the, the you know, uh, harbors that are closed. And so it was the fear factor, that kind of aversion behavior that led to 80 to 90 percent of the overall economic losses. But what we also asked our uh, researchers to do is to take a look at other epidemics and try to understand what the long-term uh, and medium-term economic implications might be. And so they looked at the SARS epidemic and found that there was over $40 billion in, uh, uh, in loss of GDP as a result of the SARS epidemic. And so 80 to 90 percent, we found, of that impact was due to what we call aversion behavior or the fear factor. Uh, ports closing down, um, uh, uh, airlines shutting down, people not going to work. And so we really have two contagions. The first is due to the virus, and the second is due to this aversion behavior or fear factor. We need to get high quality uh, services on the ground that will both prevent new infections and treat the people who are infected. Right now, without any certainty of uh, effective treatment, people are running in all kinds of directions. We need to set up centers in every village, in every urban slum, uh, in the hospitals, where people understand how to prevent the spread of the disease and also how to treat it. The message is really, really clear. We've got to have a massive, complete response as quickly as possible. Speed is of the essence and compre comprehensiveness is of the essence. We cannot afford to wait a day longer. We've got to get moving. We've got to get moving right now.